holidays and welcome to the No Dunks podcast series squad. This is the show where we draft the teams like we're the general manager. The only catch, that very specific draft pool that we're working with. I'm J.E. Skeets here in the Classic Factory along with my rival GMs. We've got Jerome, we've got Tass, we've got Trey Kirby, and of course the man making the magic happen, super producer, J.D. Everybody looking sharp here. For the holidays, just taking in these uh, <laughs> ugly Christmas sweaters, this incredible custom Jerome baby <laughs> sweater. TK has on a Christmas jersey, uh, which is incredible, and and uh, JD look good too. So good you stuff. You never know guys. what you'll find around here. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Uh, so look, today's squad theme. Uh, it's a twist on an old classic. Mm-hmm. Uh, back in 2019. We drafted from several holiday season categories. We're talking Christmas movies, uh, holiday food and drink, holiday activities, Christmas Day NBA games, and Christmas songs. Well, today's squad, it's the opposite of that. (laughs) It's the Bah Humbug version, because we are going to draft the worst Christmas ever. And we're using a lot of those same categories, but again, we're looking for the worst... (laughs) Of the worst. Uh, Five categories. First round, drafting the worst Christmas movie. In the second round, we'll be drafting the worst Christmas food or drink. Mm. Your option. Are you thirsty or hungry? (laughs) Uh, In the third round, we'll be drafting the worst Christmas activity. In the fourth round, we'll be drafting the worst Christmas decoration. We got rid of the NBA category completely in this yeah. one. Yeah. Every game has been good. That's right. Yeah, that's exactly. right. Even the worst NBA Christmas Day game is still so, sort right. of good for us. So worst Christmas decoration. And then finally in the fifth and final round, uh, yeah, drafting the worst Christmas song. So this draft held by our official No Dunks rules. Uh, all five of us get a crack at the number one pick in one of the five rounds. We're going to draft our squads, debate our selections, possibly make a trade or two. I know there was some uh, pre-show chatter (laughs) about moving up in a couple of categories. We'll see. The fans then will ultimately decide uh, who has created the worst Christmas ever. We determined the draft order earlier. And Trey, you have the first pick in the worst Christmas movie category. A lot of bad movies out there. Yeah. (laughs) A lot of bad movies out there. A lot of bad Christmas movies. Uh, I don't know if anybody's interested in moving up, but there's such a wealth of candidates that I would hear offers because I think I'll be able to get one of mine a little further down. Yeah. I feel good with my pick because yeah, I'm good. also going to get something terrible. Yeah. So why? Yeah. There's so many. Ba- there's so many bad ones. Yeah. I will stick with it then. Um, I'll say every sequel to a Christmas movie is bad. Mm. <laughs> every third of a Christmas movie is even worse. Uh, so I definitely considered a few of those, yeah. but. I want to set the tone here by picking a movie that people might actually like, but that I think is terrible. So my number one overall choice is Jim Carrey's Grinch, who stole Ooh. Christmas. Holy, this is a spicy start. Ooh. Came out in 2000. Okay. Exciting. Jim Carrey playing the Grinch. <laughs> he was on top of the world. The perfect guy with a crazy face to be able to play uh, the Grinch. And then he came out and sounded like Sean Connery. Just angry <laughs> the whole time. It's too long. They've now made another animated version, so this is the third best version of oh. The Grinch Who Stole Christmas. Would you rather watch the 90-minute version of him yelling at kids mm. or the 25-charming-minute version <laughs> uh, set in the 1960s where he comes down, he's got the big old smile. So uh, a major disappointment to me, Jim Carrey as The Grinch. I remember seeing it in the theater thinking I was going to love it, you know? Yeah, yeah. Big Ace Ventura fan. I had a Liar Liar movie poster on my wall growing up. I was Carrie pilled. Wow. And, <laughs> and then this man had me grinching out in the theater, being such a sourpuss wow. in this movie. What a start here. I like that you took a movie that I feel like a lot of people do like. Yeah. Or think they like. I don't yeah. know. Are you a fan of, of his selection? Or I, I of the movie? I wouldn't put it in my, like, worst. Definitely not a number one pick. <laughs> mm. So I'm pretty <laughs> surprised. But then I guess, like you said, set the tone, really. Um, I think, no, it's a beloved movie, isn't it? <laughs> like, well, it's a, yeah, a beloved yeah. figure played by a beloved actor, but Trace, I mean, you make a great case. It's, it's, it is, I remember being long. It it's drags. Long, right. It feels like Way it drags. Way too long. Yeah. yeah. JD, you agree? Yeah. Uh, I remember it coming out to mixed reviews. Okay. I don't okay. know if okay. people, I don't know if it's beloved. 
but <laughs> I, I, there, there's definitely LOL moments. Like I laugh at that movie. There's funny like, parts for sure. Can you give me one off the top of your head? Well, when he's going through his things to do list is one that pops to mind. I can't remember what the gag was, but uh, <laughs> it was everything except, I don't know, steal Christmas or whatever it was. But uh, it was funny. You, you know, just the antics of Jim Carrey. I get what you're saying, but to say that he was too angry is like he's the Grinch. <laughs> <laughs> I always thought Oscar was too grouchy as well. Right? Yeah. Yeah. well fair. You guys lighten up. Those probably were the, the notes from the uh, yeah. director. Hey, be angry. <laughs> That's yeah. the Grinch. No, I was just uh, reading the Wikipedia entry, and apparently he compared being inside the Grinch makeup to being tortured. Yeah. So mm. he was like Ooh. legitimately furious oh. the whole time. I they had to give him yeah. training for how to like endure torture to be able to complete this movie so yeah. what are you uh, talking about they were waterboarding the Grinch like, the, well, they right. were who like, knows in the Grinch it's similar you know they literally had uh, Navy SEALs come in and say this is you know because they're trained to go undergo extreme duress wow uh, isn't I mean, Jim Carrey's whole thing he like stays in character when he tries to do these movies that with men too? on the moon yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, right yeah. Yeah, that's right that's right yeah. so was he just the Grinch the entire time wow that'd be depressing okay. I love it great Great pick. Great first pick. Great way to get us started here <laughs> in the worst Christmas movie. Or worst, yeah, worst Christmas uh, ever sort of squad here. You have the second pick, though, I Drew. do Where have the going? second pick. And <laughs> Trey alluded to it. Uh, sequels can be bad. And this one uh, in particular, I think I've only ever seen it once, but it's more than enough. It's Home Alone 3. Oh, it's going three. Yeah. yeah. It's got to be three. Yeah. <laughs> Especially because when we were talking about this draft, I was thinking to myself, is this like the worst I've ever experienced or am I putting together the worst possible holiday? And if you have available to you Home Alone 1 and 2 and you force everyone to watch it, <laughs> <only> three, <laughs> we're that skipping is, ahead to three. Talk about torture. Yeah, you know what happens <laughs> at that point. But the thing is, you can't even skip ahead because. Macaulay Culkin out, John Hughes out, replaced entirely with like a good, totally new cast. I had to revisit. So yeah, follows... I've never seen this movie, it's and insane. I struggled in this category because all right. these crappy movies. I'm like, I've never seen it. I've never seen it. I've never seen it. Yeah. So what here, here's goes the synopsis. Down here? It follows Alex Pruitt, an eight year old boy who defends his home from a dangerous band of international criminals. Working for a terrorist organization. Oh my god! Wow, we we up the ante. <laughs> that is crazy. This must be a very talented eight-year-old kid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what one reason that I don't know if it will generate interest in watching it? An early appearance from who plays his older sister, Scarlett Johansson. What? Whoa. Really? Yeah. I might need to revisit. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've been trained. Yeah. A very young Scarlett what? Johansson. What I just year is this coming out? So this is coming out in 1997, five years after ni- the 1992 Lost in New York. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, Originally, no. it was intended for the two to be uh, put done back to back in production, but they never got to the third one. Macaulay Culkin takes a hiatus from acting in 1994. Mm. So obviously you follow through yeah. and you go with the production apparently. Okay. So home. What, what's the tagline on it? Home Alone 3, what is it? Uh, there International is... Crime Fighter? <laughs> home Alone 3. It's literally just called Home Alone 3? I think it's just oh, Home Alone 3. Oh, okay. It was the last theatrical release of Home Alone movies before they went straight to DVD, yeah. uh, which makes perfect sense. And you said, how many more are there? I don't I know. There's, there's a five. It's a, there's five. <laughs> wow. Five? Yeah. 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 Get simply safe. <laughs> I mean, in fairness, I mean, this is a... Get an air tag. Put yeah. on your kid. <laughs> do that. Yeah. I mean, we've covered Fast and Furious. I mean, if we know anything, even if it's crashing at three, it picks up right again at five. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. True. Yeah. Maybe on. we should watch five. <laughs> yeah. There's sort of a number six here. There's a <laughs> no, no joke. With Macaulay Culkin in it? Home sweet no, home no, alone. No. That's what, not is that? what, he's the they dad it... now? <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> he's like, it's it's a rite of passage for his kid. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, we're going on vacation. You got to stay by yourself. <laughs> It'll all make sense. Okay. Home Alone 3. Yeah, I, I assume, I know when we did this back in 2019, Home Alone, it may have been the first pick, actually, in the best Christmas movies. Right. I think it did go number one. Uh, and, and you, so it's a full circle moment. It, this really is. Yeah. Uh, uh, you love that one. Of course, like yes, most yeah, it's okay. a classic. Yeah. Okay, Tass, you have the third pick here. What do you got? I've got Jingle All the Way by Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. I, similarly, I think, to Trey, I mean, I was a huge Jim Carrey fan. I was also an Arnold fan, mm-hmm. and I yeah. just, I'm just in a bad Arnold mood lately. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't need FUBAR. I watched it all. 
uh, the the documentary is fine as well on Netflix. Mm-hmm. Fine, it was fine. But everything in the '90s was was working for Arnold. And then these these acting along with Sinbad in this one, <laughs> what a cast! Uh, where he's <laughs> he's trying to find this Christmas gift for his kid because he missed his karate class. His kid, he misses kids' karate class, so he goes and gets a what's it's a an action figure, a Turbo yep. Man action figure. Turbo, Turbo Man, Man. I'm Turbo trying Man. to think of the name. Turbo of it. Man. Him yeah. and Sid Bad are fighting for it, and it's just bad Arnold stuff. <laughs> so Arnold just he just veered the wrong direction. It maybe maybe like Jim Carrey as well. Just it's just a wrong way. They just got that Christmas paycheck, didn't they? Right. They're like, oh. oh yeah. Or maybe it's like I don't know. At a certain point, as an actor, you're like. I gotta make a Christmas movie. Yeah, it's nice. From the yeah. kids and my Christmas family, right. and some of them yeah. are good, and some of them are bad. He, yeah, he did a lot of bad things. Yeah. I'm being mean wrong, wrong direction, not bad things. But a lot, Steroids, a lot of, yeah. Bad decisions. <laughs> no, those were good, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Olympia. It's a double-edged sword, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Put them on the map. All but. Right. Does anyone, did, uh, did you ever watch this movie? I did watch yeah, this movie. Yeah. I remember, but I think I watch it like after the fact because yeah. like just one of those things where you get told like this is a terrible Arnold film. And that it's yeah. so bad yeah. it's almost good in a right, way. Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, right. And it's bad. Right. Okay. JD, yeah. any thoughts on Jingle All the Way? Very few thoughts. Uh, I probably <laughs> started watching it at some point, yeah. but I definitely never finished. So. <laughs> yeah, I was actually sad to see it showing up on like all of these Jingle All or all these worst Christmas movie lists because mm-hmm. that was one I was like, oh, I wonder if that's any good. <laughs> what if that holds up? <laughs> Fairly <laughs> guess not. not. <laughs> yeah. Apparently yeah. not. Okay, that's off the board. JD, you have the fourth pick here. Okay, so. I think I'm going to go in the direction that Trey went, and I'm going to pick something that's beloved. <sighs> beloved. It's risky. Okay. I know. I know. But I got to respect the hell out of it. Right? <laughs> and that, I'm going with Christmas Vacation. Oh. I have tried <laughs> multiple times to watch this movie. I'm not a Chevy Chase guy. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I just, I, I find it cringe. I find it corny. I don't find it funny. I don't think I, I've I've seen it in bits. I, I probably have seen the whole thing all the way through, but <laughs> never in one sitting. So uh, yeah, Christmas Vacation. Wow. JD is now Dan Harmon, creator of Community. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Cousin Eddie? Didn't find Cousin Eddie funny? Uh, who's that? Randy Quaid? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not not particularly, to be John, honest. The cat is wearing the dicky. Yeah, <laughs> it's dicky under the V-neck. I see. I think when he shows up, it's yeah, it's gold from it's, there. It's been at least ten years since I've attempted, so maybe I'll try it again. Okay. If you didn't um, like it ten years, I don't know how. Probably <laughs> <it's been laughs> not. Yeah, it's <laughs> a good point. Uh, that was my pet right. pick for best Christmas movie. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. yeah this is a hot take. That's, yeah. a, that's a classic for me. I agree. Well, fair enough, it. but I just could not get through it. Okay. So. Okay. Tass, any, anything to add on that? I mean, it is absolutely beloved. There's no doubt about that. The rankings are very, 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 very good. <laughs> very kind to it. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. So do you hate all of the uh, National Lampoon? Yeah. I, like I, I remember being so excited for the, the original vacation to see it in the theater. Like, I dragged my mom there yeah. and, and like, I'm like, Mom, we're going to be late. We got to go. <laughs> like, I, I was pumped for that movie, and I was just like, God, this is like, I just hated it. And I'm a, I was probably like 13, so it was right up my alley, too, and yeah. I just fucking hated it. I think that's mm. a, way to part of, a part of the reason why I do love it, or the nostalgic factor, is like, when it felt like one of the first movies as a kid that was like yeah. a little risque, yeah. and it was yeah. like, yeah. oh, like some of the humor, and obviously yeah. like some of the... Is she naked when he's like daydreaming in the pool, or maybe not? I think she's a baby. She's just a baby wearing a red baby and throws it off. Right, so it's like that type of thing. The age we were around that time. Okay. Yeah. Wow. It's that movie. Until John Candy shows up, I was bored out of my mind as a thirteen-year-old. But (laughs) all right, there you go. Okay. Wow. Christmas vacation. (laughs) Okay, that was not on my list. (laughs) Yeah. So I'm good there. I have the final pick in this one. Uh, Interested to know if you guys have seen this. Deck the halls. I have seen it. With Matthew Broderick and Danny DeVito. That's a hunk of shit movie right there. <laughs> Never heard of it. It's, well, it's actually pulling on some uh, Christmas vacation themes, I guess. They basically get into a battle between who can have like the craziest house yeah. in terms of mm. Christmas decorations. But uh, it's rough. It's, uh, it's 95 minutes of pain. It's a During decent the premise, season. though. I, I like the premise. Premise, yeah, premise but it's, makes sense. it's something there. There's not a lot more and than that. And the cast feels like yeah. it should deliver on that front. It's pretty. Yeah. It's pretty flat humor. 
uh, uh, it's just not funny is a real issue with yeah, it. I mean. um, some of the reviews are amazing. Uh, <laughs> my stupidity astounds me. Chortles Danny DeVito in Deck the Halls. A line that pretty much sums up this tale of uh, warring neighbors. Uh, uh, Deck the Halls wants to be both naughty and nice. It just ends up feeling deeply confused. <laughs> I love this one. Got any kids who've been naughty this year? Here's their present. <laughs> what a diss from Sam Toy, of all people. Wow, <laughs> the Toy Man. <laughs> so anyway, Deck the Halls has a 6% tomato meter wow. uh, oh, in no. the reviews. Audience score a little bit better, but 30%. Pretty, pretty garbage here. So. No, that's awful. Uh, I have not seen this movie. I did see it show up on uh, various like lists of like mm. worst ever. And... At least, like, looking at the cover itself, I'm just like, this doesn't feel like this is a real movie. Yeah, real exactly. Fake. Like, so that alone. And then for that, with the cast of being, like, Matthew Broderick and Danny DeVito and thinking, like, this is a horse, like, this is, like, horseshit just thrown together. <laughs> <laughs> like, it, yeah, it's no it's surprise. Disappointing. Like, yeah, it's disappointing. It's disappointing. It's super disappointing. I like that we both have uh, the stars of twins in one right. of our movies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in similar premises, just competing yes. people in Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. Respect to everybody picking movies that they've actually seen because yes. you could have easily just gone sure. the list and got zero percent. Yeah. Were there any that jumped out to you uh, from reading any of these lists that you were like, yeah, I haven't seen that, but man, that's showing up on every bad Christmas list. Black Christmas showed up yeah. on a lot. Okay. I don't even Wait, know. Is what it a horror movie? I think movie? it's a horror movie. It's a horror movie. movie. Yeah, 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 I would sure. say every yeah. one of those looked like a scary movie. I'm like, no, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Christmas with I don't the want Cranks Christmas. showed up. And I, I have not seen that myself, but I here it's bad it sucks yeah <laughs> it definitely sucks uh vince vaughn is in a couple shitty christmas right. movies uh fred claus right. that's right and yeah. uh, what was the other one four right. christmas four christmas right. that one's really bad too. <laughs> <laughs> who's the is it reese witherspoon i think so yeah is the mm. woman yeah i love a rom-com i, <laughs> I was wanted to see it anyways uh, has anybody seen the movie before we move on? Santa with muscles, <laughs> Hulk Hogan, ninety six. <laughs> no. Oh boy! It just sounds like an awkward Google search. Uh, <laughs> that's right. I haven't seen the movie, but watching the trailer, I was like, "Oh, I could go with this right. one because this looks horrible." I almost want to do a watch together for Santa. Santa with muscles. With muscles? <laughs> At least watch the trailer. Stay tuned to the end the of this premise, podcast. The premise seems to be, he's. I think he's. I want to say he's a millionaire, but he bonks his head. In getting away from people, and then he's dressed as Santa when he bonks his head, and so then he then has like amnesia and it thinks he's Santa, or people think he's Santa. It's very, very <laughs> yeah, strange. Like it. yeah. right. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay, <laughs> let's move on to the worst Christmas food or drink category. Jerome, you have the number one pick. I do. Um, oh, okay, so. I was originally going to go with... See, I haven't tried this yet. No, I'm going to go with this. <laughs> I have not tried this yet, but my uh, mom actually asked if I could find any good ones in Toronto to bring it for uh, the holidays. They want a fruitcake. Oh. Yeah. 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 Why? What's wrong Number with them? One. Are Number they one. okay? I, Why do they want it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I, don't, I think they're going great with my parents, so I don't know why they're asking. <laughs> um, I've not tried one, but any photo I've ever seen of a fruitcake, it is the least appetizing thing in any context whatsoever. <laughs> Holiday, Christmas. Christmas, any day of the year. Too it shiny for bread. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> bread should not be. Simple as that. Should not yeah. look like jewels. <laughs> have people, like, have you guys tried it around here? Tess ate like a whole. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, we did one for uh, our monthly pick and pay off. Right, right, right. Uh, yeah, that was not a prize. Yeah. That was, yeah, that yeah. was nearly the worst thing. Hey, you know, I'm kind of with your parents, though. Okay. Maybe there's a good one out there. Right. Maybe. Not many. No, I, I think I think people eat it wrong. To okay. Be so this is what this is. <laughs> okay. Right. This is how I eat fruitcake. When yeah, it, you when take it, you throw it in the garbage. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, no, no. You, th it's you, th you slice it thinly, like yeah. very thin okay. slice, yeah. and then you put like a piece of like really nice cheese on it. I'm I'm not kidding. Okay. Like a, a, what kind of cheese? Like an old cheddar. Like okay. a, 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 a sharp something Whoa. sharp. Okay. So the sweet with the sharpness. Okay. It actually. It's not too bad. Okay. So, I was about to say, you're just describing bread. But yeah. <laughs> How yeah, but insane it's, is this item? It's called fruit cake, but it's right. bread. <laughs> it's, <laughs> right. yeah. it's what? It it's a like cake it made work. with candied or dried fruit, nuts, spice, uh, spices, and optionally soaked in spirits. Yeah, yeah right, right, right. Yeah. Right? Boozy, yeah. a boozy yeah. fruit cake. A boozy fruit cake, mm -hmm. yeah. It's desserty. 
for it's sure. It's dirty. Okay. Mm. Uh, I have a feeling that was on a lot of people's yeah. lists. Yeah. yeah. I'm not yeah. surprised yeah. it went number that, one. That feels like the LeBron James is totally. Like yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fruitcake, uh, gone. Tass, what are you going yeah. with? Yeah, I definitely wanted to stay in that realm. Um, and I was, I was thinking the drink way because people make eggnogs really poorly and yeah stuff. Mm-hmm. but uh i've been seeing this appetizer around uh <laughs> people like to put it at a table like a shrimp christmas tree like it's like it's made out of sort of salad <laughs> salad to to make the actual christmas tree like that's what, that's what holds it up and then you throw in skewers of shrimp and people put in olives like and the ornaments are almost those items oh, okay, on the okay, Christmas okay. tree. Yeah, yeah. This yeah. Looks, but, <laughs> this looks but, insane. But you eat that thing. People eat that thing. People eat shrimp and olives. Yeah, there's pictures all over the place. <laughs> what Stop is it doing called? that. I've never it's called a shrimp Christmas tree. Oh, okay. Shrimp Christmas tree. <laughs> but it's an app. Wow. It's an app for you to to <laughs> munch on. Ridiculous. People put it, you know, people will put it there. Yeah, people over just you know just as an appetizer just yeah, around of course all right yeah, uh and people are just making a lot of mistakes why why are you eating shrimp with lettuce right uh, <laughs> it's, just, it's just a risk it's a risky appetizer that does not to be just does not to be needed at all doesn't sound uh, appetizing yeah. no, to no. me at all more of a know. conversation starter <laughs> yeah 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 okay. oh, what, what the hell is that, is that <laughs> over there <laughs> yeah it's the opposite of a charcuterie Can board I, am I supposed to eat that what is yeah. that yeah you wouldn't want to eat it it looks too good uh cause the shrimp look a little bit like uh candy canes yeah <laughs> you oh, there them. you go you get the okay. red and white stripes yeah yeah I do like a shrimp cocktail but a shrimp Christmas tree is messing with me <laughs> I mean presentation matters yeah presentation matters yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that is the best part of it is the presentation then you start putting it in your mouth and it's not good <laughs> so uh yeah okay <laughs> the shrimp christmas tree i don't know why you talking about a shrimp christmas tree made me think of the worst advent calendar a shrimp advent calendar <laughs> <laughs> that's a great idea wow i bet it exists yeah one shrimp <laughs> per day. but just so it's gone so foul first oh, one's good <laughs> first it's totally day fine. one fantastic yeah. yeah you're just dreading it yeah. to get closer and closer to christmas you know who would love the uh, shrimp christmas tree though <laughs> oh, that was Jerry, the shrimpinator. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> It's a joke for exactly four people. I just love Tyler's reaction. Uh, He's like, God damn I know, it. I know, Jerry. You idiot for saying this. I know, this. Jerry. <laughs> Sorry, Jerome. Jerome doesn't even know. Jerome, Jerome doesn't know. It was for four people. No One of them's not even in the room. Here's yeah. the story. There's a guy we know named Jerry that really likes shrimp. He calls himself the shrimpinator. He would love it. We should send him one. <laughs> okay. He probably made it. He, he probably was, designed yeah. the Christmas yeah. tree. He self-named himself the shrimp. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Well, I think you do. <laughs> it may have been bestowed upon him. We're not sure. Okay. We're not sure. It's on a basketball <laughs> reference page. Oh. Okay. Uh, JD, you have the third good. pick here in, in worst Christmas food and drink. Okay. Well, I mean, I have two bangers here left on my list. Okay. The shrimp thing definitely wasn't there. <laughs> that was a curveball. <laughs> shrimp Christmas tree. Uh, sorry to all my friends who've done that before. Uh, <laughs> And I, okay, well, I, you know, I'm already gonna get dragged for my my movie, so it's between candy cane and eggnog for me. Okay, Ooh. I had candy cane uh, as my second pick, but I think I'm gonna go candy cane. Yeah, wow. it's one of the most overrated things. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Wait, you lick it too much and it becomes a weapon, literally. Yeah. Like a, it's, it's all sharp, really like sharp. Uh, but that's not why. I just yeah. find them. Most of the time, they're shitty, right? Like, they're the shittiest thing to give out. Like, they, they'll they throw them out at the Santa Claus parade, and they're, you yeah. get them as a child, and they're already broken. Oh, yeah. 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 Those right. little tiny ones. Yeah. So, it's the, it's just more of the disappointment factor, and you have it, and you're like, okay, it's minty and stuff, but ugh, I don't know. I don't want it's it. It's really messy, too. It gets so sticky. It gets sticky yeah. and yeah. messy. So, yeah. Put me down <laughs> for candy But you don't think it's tasty. Can. No, wow. it's just like I sugar. I, good it's ones. Like I mint. like good ones. Yeah. I like mint. I like yeah. okay. the mint yeah. candies, but I'm all, just, most are pretty awful. I think. What's yeah. that? They're most che- they're like cheap. The, yeah. most I mean, of them are just ones, cheap. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they're one. they're for giveaways or yeah. decorations. Like we used to put them on Same the, here. the tree, on the tree yeah. and then you know do people them. still do that. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Christmas trees? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Putting them on. See, we've 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 gone to shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> We've pivoted to the shrimp actual tree. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, 
Wow, that's yeah, man. You're back to back right now in controversial yeah, selections. Yeah. I'm like yeah. out to ruin somebody. You're, you're, yes. you're literally building <laughs> someone's greatest Christmas. I was ever. about to say, yeah, like in my world where we're building a terrible Christmas, like, can we get an invitation to your horrible? World? Yeah, it sounds like a that's great right. party. Yeah. Uh, okay, well, I'm up next here. Um, had fruitcake on the list, um, but I'm going to go with, uh, I believe, a, a British favorite. It is the Christmas pudding. Mm. Have you guys ever had this? No. Sounds good. Sounds good. <laughs> Sounds good. It is not, though, really. Um, so is it figgy? Figgy pudding? <laughs> it's, okay, so we, I have a, an aunt-in-law, I guess, you know, obviously uh, through Nora's side of the family, is a British woman. We do Christmas there every year. Big feast. It's great. And at the end, the dessert is this Christmas pudding because it's a bit of a staple there in England. And it's just... I've I've tried to come to like it. I mean, I'm talking about doing this now nearly 20 years. <laughs> and it's there every year. And yeah. uh, you just can't get there with it. It's just a slimy sort of brick. <laughs> and, and what they do, here's how bad it is. To try and make it better, they douse it in, like, brandy mm. and then light it on fire. That's it's cool. cool. Very cool. Yeah. It doesn't really make it taste any better. It sounds and like you put custard on it and mine. stuff, and you're like, it, you're trying to mask it. You're literally trying to mask this food. <laughs> and um, I just, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. Hopefully, I'm not disowned here from the family, but uh, <laughs> I know I won't be because I think everybody's like, it's like one of these like you take one bite and you're like, ah, I'm so full. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got some left over. Uh, yeah. 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 But the ham, too much ham. I had that on my list, and I wasn't sure if it was the same thing as a like fruit cake. But no, no, it's definitely not. not. It's de- it sounds like the drunk uncle version of mine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, again fun. A fun when the lights go out. You light it on fire. Woo! All right. And then you're that like, let's cool. just just keep it over there. Let's not let's not slice it up and hand it out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I'm going with the Christmas pudding. <laughs> to me, fruit cake and Christmas pudding were like the first two desserts ever invented. Right. Yeah. <laughs> like, we gotta come up with something better. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've never eaten a Christmas pudding or a figgy pudding, but it showed up on a lot of bad Christmas food yeah. lists, and it just looks <laughs> scary. <laughs> <laughs> scary to me. <laughs> okay. uh, all right. Well, that's off the list. Trey, you have the final pick here. Um, nobody has selected a drink. Uh, yeah. Which is a little interesting, but um, TK, take us home in this category. Yeah, I guess Nog is on the board still. Still on the board. Yeah. yeah. I can't say it's the worst, though. You know, it's not the worst for me. And people um, do like it. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. And some people it's are big Nog yeah. for sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so for me, I'm going with the gingerbread house. As the worst food. Ooh, wow, I almost okay. wow, I almost don't even consider it food, but yeah, yeah I mean, it gets more of a house <laughs> to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it can come up as a decoration, yeah. uh, I suppose, as well. But you get a gingerbread house. I know our girls are going to be getting gingerbread house kits that have been sitting in our basement for <laughs> over a year. Yeah, right. <laughs> I saw when we were getting our <laughs> decorations out this year. I was like, oh, well, at least we don't have to buy a new one. But it tastes the exact same. It's just. No flavor in the gingerbread house. And then the toppings you put on it, the icings are like the little candies. They're terrible. They don't taste good at all. Um, I usually love a ginger bread, like a ginger snap cookie. I think it's great. Ginger, just one of the great flavors out there. Very (laughs) Christmassy. But gingerbread house never works. I think it suffers from the same thing like the candy cane suffers from. It's just cheap. It's yeah. cheap. It's yeah. made to be built and not to be eaten. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Also with ginger for me, I like a ginger snap too, but I only want one. One snap. I don't yeah. want a lot yeah. of you know gingerbread. It's such a powerful taste mm. that I, ju- sure. I just take a little bit. But like if I got to eat a whole house, <laughs> I mean, that's too much. Oh, but it's a single family home. <laughs> it's also, I think we're ranch style. I'm coming to the conclusion that like holiday foods in general are made more for presentation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're mass produced. Yeah, you know, just like uh, this. Like is... everything we've picked out looks way nicer than it tastes. <laughs> even That's the, even the shrimp. Christmas yeah, even tree. the shrimp. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it looks yeah. very good. It looks yeah. very good. That's like Yule log. I saw Yule log was on a lot of uh, mm. things, but I like a Yule log. <laughs> <laughs> it's, <good. laughs> it's cake. Yeah. Was there anything else uh, left on somebody's list? That was in the running that wasn't selected. I've gone drinkless here, huh? Oh, yeah. Okay, let's hear some drinks. Well, I'm not sure if this is good or not. The candy cane martini, the peppertini, I believe mm, it's called. Yeah. People are mm, doing it. That's very unique. Peppermintini, I think it's called, because okay. they add in yeah. mint, peppermint. But just uh, the candy cane is sort of hanging off uh, the glass. Of it's just it's it's more minty again. It's it's like food. 
And that is just it's garbage. <laughs> you, don't, you don't need to have it. I had on my list here, maybe controversial, assorted chocolates. Oh, Ooh. okay. Okay. Because my take on assorted chocolates is there's literally like two good chocolates yeah. in those boxes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And the rest are garbage. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of bad ones. There's a lot of bad yeah, ones. Of they bad just ones. load it with like the worst chocolates they have mm-hmm. from the leftover chocolate of the year. <laughs> Throw it in the boxes, give them one or two good yeah. ones in there. Yeah. 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 Pot of gold, my ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Anything else, JD, that you had there? Yeah. No, I think okay. that's it. Does yeah. anybody like those very bready cookies that are like, uh, you usually see them candy cane shaped? They don't have a ton of flavor to them either. I think those aren't very good. And I don't know, this might be only something that I encounter, but. Every year we go to Laura's family on Christmas Eve, and one of the dishes that's always served is a crock pot full of meatballs. Oh, no, oh, wow. I like, I'm not a fan I of that. I love it. I love yeah. crock pot full of meatballs. Uh-huh. <laughs> but those things are so hot, man. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. they're so hot. They don't need to be this hot, man, buddy. <laughs> we got to go low on the crock pot. But it's irresistible. You're like, oh, they look so good, mm. glistening. Yeah, Are we yeah. going to stab in here? Nope, still a million degrees. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we call those snowballs? During the Christmas, because oh, uh, they're too hot. <laughs> fireballs. Yeah, yeah, they're fireballs. Yeah. You're right. I guess so. When we started podcasting, an online store was the furthest thing from my mind. But then we started selling Basketball Jones shirts, and it was so easy. We went from trying to sell them outside the Raptors Arena and upgraded to Shopify. Shout out to the Canadians that made this thing happen. We needed them. We weren't selling them outside the stadium. Online, all good. Shopify is the global commerce platform that helps you sell at every stage of your business. From the launch your online shop stage to the first real life store stage, all the way to the did we just hit a million orders stage, Shopify is there to help you grow. Whether you're selling scented soap or offering outdoor outfits, Shopify helps you sell everywhere from their all-in-one e-commerce platform to the in-person POS system Wherever and whatever you're selling, Shopify has got you covered. Shopify helps you turn browsers into buyers with the internet's best converting checkout, 36% better on average compared to other leading commerce platforms, and sell more with less effort thanks to Shopify Magic, your AI-powered all-star. We should have sold some all-star shirts back in the day, but we've got something cooking for February now, I think. Yeah, let's cook it. Shopify powers 10% of all e-commerce in the U.S., and Shopify is the global force behind Allbirds, Rothy's, Brooklinen, and millions of other entrepreneurs of every size across 175 countries. I almost don't believe that, but it's true. Plus, Shopify's award-winning help is there to support your success every step of the way because business that grow, well... They grow with Shopify. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash no dunks, all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash no dunks now to grow your business, no matter what stage you're in, shopify.com slash no dunks. Okay, let's move to the third category. Tass has the number one pick in worst Christmas activity. Mm-mm. The worst activity is definitely building that gingerbread house. Oh, it is absolutely oh, horrible. Wow, okay, we are anti gingerbread. We're going house back here. to hold back on, here. hold is on. Is this allowed? Can he pick gingerbread house? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. wow. Sailed, I mean, you could. That's an activity. It's also a decoration, like, which I think it should be. Oh off the man, board. if gingerbread goes one gingerbread. <laughs> wow. Well, it's a gingerbread house. It's already been drafted, right? Yeah. Tough. Yeah, tough. Tough. Controversial. Uh, I'm sorry, Tess, to be a stickler for the rules. No, but, that's uh, fine. No, it's fair. This is in the spirit of this podcast. Uh, yeah. you know, bah, I mean, we're, on everything. we're abolishing gingerbread period from holidays, clearly, from yeah, I mean, all these draft picks. I got to say, J.D., it's more of an activity than a decoration, though. Yeah. Like, it has to be okay. yeah, yeah. first okay. and foremost. Okay. 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 So that's this why I'm why just I'm so a... excited to use it right now. Uh, <laughs> is it a decoration just because it sits there? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. But I think his your complaint is <laughs> that it was, it was drafted, drafted, drafted food. as food. Exactly. Food. It's yeah, already a bit off the board. Wow, yeah, we never yeah, made I that rule across yeah. categories. Yeah, yeah. 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 expect yeah. this. <laughs> Damn uh, it. Yeah. <laughs> well, does that, so can I pick the shrimp Christmas tree as a decoration? <laughs> no, you can't. Damn it. 
<laughs> All right, Cass, you've been <laughs> ruled true. against, I guess, here. You cannot pick gingerbread wow, house building. Jesus, fair. man. Okay. Wow. Grinch wow. over here, yeah. Wow. yeah. Do you have a back? Body list. No, there's nothing else bad up there. <laughs> he had the first pick. You know, he only picked one else thing. Else yeah, with the he had the first pick. Yeah, He's true. like, I'm good. That's true. <laughs> that is definitely the worst part of the holiday season. Is looking at that thing you got to build. Never stays yeah. up. Okay, uh, so you're keeping it. Uh, yeah. I'm keeping it. <laughs> it's a bust. Uh, it's right, a, it's yeah. a horrible experience. Okay. Nothing right. I agree. Good. I agree. It's, it's like you got to be a handyman or a handy <laughs> woman to make that thing happen. You got to sit there for 10, 15 minutes holding the oh, ice yeah. and oh, yeah. walls to the <laughs> yeah. roofs to make sure it doesn't fall apart. And then I'm excited around the holiday season to eat some crap. You know, give me some candy cane. Sure. I'll, I'll eat it. But then you try and munch on this and it's, yeah, i mean um, it's rocks it's made of rocks it doesn't yeah. it doesn't taste all that good at all uh the kid sprinkles they're very bad and you can't eat it you can't eat it right away because you want to preserve <laughs> right. it you want it to be a decoration <laughs> sorry Katie. um so unfortunately yeah i'm putting it up maybe people will be upset that uh, this would be drafted Twice, no. thrice, no, maybe. Cares. We're, thrice. we're throwing the rules out. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, I, I, I want somebody to take it in decoration. <laughs> These things look so stupid. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, JD, you have the next pick here in uh, Worst Christmas Activity. Wow, 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 wow. wow. Uh, okay, well, I'm going to go. This is for all the, the parents out there. Elf on a Shelf. Yeah. <gasps> Get Ooh. out of here. No, that could have been a decoration as that well. That could have been decoration I know. As well, well yeah. apparently anything goes, so <laughs> it's still on the board, guys. What makes it bad, though, is the activity around it. Oh, so yeah. it That's, is more oh, activity yeah. than decoration. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So explain yeah. this maybe for someone without kids or doesn't know what yeah, the hell this so thing elf is. Yeah, so uh, Elf on the Shelf is basically an elf that you have in your house that, as a parent, you have to move to various... Not not just positions, but scenarios. You know, the really creative ones are like, oh, he ate too many cookies and now he barfs. So you have like this <laughs> cookie barf and or he gets into mischief. Yeah. And the other thing is that he's supposed to be watching you the whole time. It, it's Santa's representative. He's there to spy on you, basically. Yeah. But really, it's the pain in the ass factor. And it's the activity that I'm focusing on here. Just coming up with something new and it like... Oh god damn, I forgot to put the move the off on the shelf and then you have to worry about it. Yeah. And it's twenty five days of that. It starts on December first. <laughs> Every fucking night you have to move this thing. Now I've never done it. So you know so I can't really say, but I've heard people I've heard people complain yeah. about it. And it's just a pain in the ass, and I don't know. I don't like the spying on it thing, but you know, whoever takes it for the decoration can talk, speak to that part of it, but just the actual physically moving it and the scenarios. And I, you know, as a creative person, I liked, I would l want to come up with something new and cool every single time. And it's just a lot of brain power and work. Yeah. That's it. That's yeah. it. That's so shout out to all the parents who do it. <laughs> yeah. But it's a terrible activity. And like you said, <laughs> like the concept of it, they really took like a, uh, the idea of like, hey, you better be a good yeah. boy or girl or Santa's <laughs> not going to bring you their gifts to like the next level. Like this little elf is watching you every single move. We got a spy. <laughs> don't, yeah. Don't yeah. mess the up. Yeah, yeah, we have spies everywhere. You don't even know where he's going to be. He moves around. Exactly. In silence like a ninja. <laughs> it's creepy. It's creepy. <laughs> creepy as hell. Okay. Also, Santa Perfect. was already watching us. That's apparently. right. That's yeah. what I mean. Yeah. That's exactly what I mean. right. This guy's yeah. outsourcing? Yeah. <laughs> but I think kids, like got, like, kids got wise to it. They're like, no, he's not. Yeah. How's he watching everybody? Mm. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> and so the other, like, yeah, okay, the damn, we better get some representatives in yeah. here. <laughs> One thing I do like about Elf on a Shelf is uh, the memes that come from it. Is you know, like, you've yeah. heard of Elf the on a Shelf? Good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. good meme. <laughs> Those good are meme. great. What about Spock on a cock? <laughs> yeah. Leonard Nimoy sitting on a chicken, people. Okay, I saw it this week. <laughs> okay, Elf on a Shelf is uh, gone for activity. Yes, yes. Could have gone in decoration. Maybe it will. Who knows? Mm. All right, I have the next pick here in this category. I got a few on my list here. Uh, I incredibly have opening gifts on my list. What? Yeah. Wow. In order. Go on. Uh, I'm not going to go with it, but I'll okay. throw it out there right now. The idea of um, if it depends how you do it at your house, right? Because mm. some people it's like, it's a free for all. Mm -hmm. Everybody right. open your gifts. We're done in five minutes. Not every household. Right. Yeah. Uh, there are some households where it is your turn, Trey Kirby. Yeah. It's Everybody's a attention. Tell. Yeah. Right. And man, we can be looking at three, four hours to get through <laughs> everything. Um, so I had that just in consideration. But I'm going to go with my worst Christmas activity, putting up outdoor decorations. Oh. Oh. Yeah. That's a chore. 
Yeah. Yes. 100%. It's a straight up chore. Yep. And I mean, with, with lights, especially, you know, inevitably one of them's not going to work. Now you're frustrated with that, trying to fix that. It just becomes a fucking pain in the <laughs> ass, man. And I like how they look. I want yeah. them up. Uh, you know, I, I, you know, a community. <laughs> it feels like I'm doing something for my neighborhood. That's right. That's uh, right. I don't have kids, so like, uh, but you know, it's great. Uh, but it's still a nuisance. So yeah. that's what I'm going with. What's worse, putting them up or taking them down? Putting oh. them up. Really? I think. Oh, okay. Taking them down so quick. I guess we just leave them up. <laughs> oh, I sent that into uh, Matty O's Is This Good JD's right. uh, podcast keeping up Christmas lights season round is mm, this yeah. good he never did the he topic never got to it no. he never well, did the topic it's, uh, it's Christmas time is coming Ooh, up so yeah. maybe it'll yeah. make one yeah. yeah okay but okay you guys were for the most part in agreement there. yeah for yeah. sure that's why it's such a classic scene in that uh, incredible Christmas <laughs> 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 Christmas vacation yeah. Oh, yeah. oh that one too yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I, I went up on uh, my roof for the first time since we moved uh, to put up our Christmas decorations this year. I usually, I think I'm a tough guy. Mm. Not on a roof. No. I'm no. A you can, hey, boy. you shouldn't be. Don't be. Yeah, be I'm, very uh, I'm keeping cautious. a low profile up there. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm like the Grinch just <laughs> slinking around on the roof. <laughs> Dad, why are you laying on the roof? I'm just being safe. That's right. <laughs> Good for you. Yeah. Yeah, Good for you. you. Should so, be. This is going to get drafted during the worst decoration. Mm. Later as well. Outdoor no. decorations? Lights. No, string it's pretty, it's, lights. It's, it's, oh, string lights. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Possibly. String lights specifically because the lights aren't going to last forever. Yeah. Uh, Sometimes probably. they just go. They oh. just go on you. What are you supposed to do? <laughs> it's, it's just not effective. We have to have effective. a better system with these, though. Like, we got to have something that can tell me which one is out. Mm. Like, <laughs> like an indicator light. Some I don't know. <laughs> Something, but the circuit, like the circuit, I hate how the circuit continues. Good, I guess, yeah. but that means I still, so, I like, sometimes, here's my point. Sometimes one light goes out. Okay, I obviously know what light is out, but sometimes a, pa- a batch of them goes out. Right. Well, which one is it? Or is it all of them? Yeah. Or is the whole thing broken? Sometimes they come back on, though. Even though I it know. seems that they're out. There's like I a, wrap... a loose little thing, you're right. Yeah, you're right. I wrap my banisters with them, and the, the mid, the, the mid string went out so like the front worked yes the back worked and the mid string went out and i've taken too long i've said i'm not gonna take the middle down i'm just gonna leave it and then it just Kicked turned in. on like three days later oh. Oh. Christmas oh. Sounds miracle. Very, safe. <laughs> very, very safe christmas miracle uh okay we move to trey here with the fourth pick in this category okay fourth pick i'm leaning towards things that are I think just like more winter themed like shoveling sucks man yeah. shoveling yeah mm-hmm. yeah. that's one of the great things about living in the south is you rarely are shoveling <laughs> no, no. Yeah, if, it, if it snows here just wait two hours and you'll be good uh, but ultimately uh, no offense to anyone here who's wearing any of these but ugly Christmas sweaters is my worst mm. Christmas wow, activity wow, wow. they've jumped the shark mm. wow they've become big business they've become big sweater <laughs> I'm looking at Jerome's awesome shirt here that's an ugly Christmas sweater. And I mean specifically the one you're wearing when you were a baby boy. Yeah. <laughs> that's when they just made them and they're like, hey, that's a Christmas sweater. Yeah. Just a sweater. That wasn't an ugly Christmas yeah, right, sweater. Yeah, yeah. That was just a sweater that was made <laughs> yeah. that your parents bought on purpose. For Not as a joke. They yeah. thought you looked cute. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You do. 30 years in the future, you're like, ha that would be hilarious to wear. I right. agree. But now we're getting a Raptors one. We're getting uh, uh, an NBA one. We're yeah, getting a everything. Kings one that's sitting here. There's an ugly Christmas sweater for everything. Yeah. To the point that they're not ugly anymore. It's just like part of the Christmas costume. Right. Yeah. There was it doesn't a, stand out. It doesn't stand out. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. Well, I wonder what was like, yeah, what was the the heyday for the actual sort of ironic Christmas sweater? Because yeah. I feel like there was like a two or three year window there where it yeah. was like, you know, people would maybe have those parties and you're like, oh, that's a unique party. Get right. it from a thrift store, right? Yeah. 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 Right. yeah, yeah. You would one. just pull yeah, out those were great. old sweater. Yeah. yeah but, okay. So I'll say vintage Christmas, ugly Christmas sweaters. Still good. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's these manufactured everything. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. okay. I agree. Good one. Uh, Jerome, take us home here in this category. I mean, Trey did pick mine. Uh, and as the de facto still in Canada person here, it's shoveling yeah. snow. It yeah. has to be shoveling snow. And it especially if it happens on Christmas and you have to clear it out for the company that's coming later oh, yeah. and it's still snowing during the day yeah. so you have to go back out for another Do round and continue doing it until it's clear for like the two seconds that they come and park in your driveway. Okay. This is insane. I, I want to push back. Yeah. I sort, right. of, I sort, really? of, I sort of like shoveling snow. I like. <laughs> When's the last time you shoveled? Yeah, that's the thing. That's yeah. been a very long time. Yeah. Very long time I'll, living here. but Also, 
first of all, you have to shovel all winter, so it's not specifically a Christmas activity. Well, no, but I'm saying specifically uh-huh. around like when it's Christmas and you're just <laughs> wanting to relax and watch the NBA games, yeah, and you I, have to shovel. Right, I hear you. Because company's because coming over. Exactly. But guess what you're having if you're shoveling snow? A white Christmas, which everybody wants. Like... <laughs> G- give me a blizzard. How long have you I been want a Atlanta? blizzard here in Atlanta. Give me a blizzard. <laughs> give me a blizzard. Yeah. A if you blizzard. don't have to go anywhere. Sure. You don't have to go anywhere. That's right. If you right. don't have to go right. anywhere. But I'm happy to shovel one day a year, and that's Christmas, because you just had a white Christmas. It's worth it. You wake up, and it's, oh, my God, it snowed. It's Christmas. <laughs> I think it depends what type of snow you're shoveling, though. Yeah. Too. There's yeah, okay. the there's the light, fluffy kind that's actually quite fun, and then there's that yeah. sloppy, heavy. Yeah. The romantic that's version the of it does exist, yeah. but yeah. it is such a rare one compared to everything else yeah. around Fair. it, in my opinion. Do you? Yeah. Does your family have um, a snowblower? Uh, no, but no. I've purchased like just plowing services for them at this point. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh, good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Good yeah. son. Good yeah. son. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> shoveling. Anything else that was left on the board? Worst Christmas activities? I mean, I have some things, but they would overlap into okay. other things. Okay. So. Okay. Save it. Yeah. Save, it. Save, save it. it. save it. Save it. Save it. Yeah. Let's move to the fourth category here. Fourth round. Worst Christmas decoration. JD, you have the first pick. Anything inflatable. That's it. That's oh. the pick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anything, even a Bucky's uh, beaver. I mean, wearing a Christmas sweater. Put a Pikachu yeah. on your grass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, what's his name? No. Yukon Cornelius. Yep, all of them, all of them. Oh. <laughs> go ahead and pick if you have a specific one. Go ahead and pick it later on in the draft. But anything inflatable. To me, look, I, I don't want to. It's not because they're tacky, which they are. But I like tacky things at Christmas. Mm-hmm. Other than a corporate made Christmas sweater. Yeah, you have the, uh, the, I have the, the leg, leg lamp. lamp from I do. The Christmas story. Tackiness is good. It's fine. But uh, the inflatables are, they, they just, they scream cheap to me. They scream everything that's wrong with Christmas. They're cheap, it's plastic. And ultimately, they're full of nothing. It's emptiness. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. So symbolically, I have a wow, problem. Wow, that's deep, wow. man. But, and is this I also the same f- for Halloween for you? Uh, it, it is for yeah, the same. So but, is this the same criticism that I can push back to you that you just said to me about <laughs> shoveling snow, that it is a broad, general no, I, Well, I'm saying <laughs> I for this, I'm specifically talking about Christmas decorations. Fair enough, yes. <laughs> but sure, if you want to push back, please push back. If... Trey has a, a 13 foot skeleton with that he's gonna have trouble storing. Is it still out? Nah. You I put it away. <laughs> See, I respect that. Yeah. It's big, it's kind of tacky, but it's cool. And that's a commitment to a bit. <laughs> uh, an inflatable, you just <laughs> and put it away, or it just ends up in a landfill somewhere. And I just find them gross, really. It's just like beyond tacky, it's, it's, it's gross. And I wouldn't want, I hate it when I see them. So anything, <laughs> I, I, there's only one exception. And then I came across this in my searching. One of those, you know, uh, they put them out in uh, um, used car lots. Oh, those, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. The yeah. Santa Wacky version of that. Oh, is this oh, a Santa yeah, okay. version there's of that? There's a Santa Never version. So I'm like, okay, that's pretty cool. I like that. <laughs> Another inflatable like that. I'll push back oh. on is a bouncy castle. Okay, but that's not decoration. That's yeah. No, but that's it can a, be. You can put it in Christmas front, and castle? it could be just a Christmas castle that you can jump in. Oh, and that's, a, that's, that's a liability. It's a winter yeah. wonderland. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Be cool. Yeah. But you just have strangers bouncing around in a castle in your front yard? You're going to get <laughs> sued. Yeah, yeah, that's in America, you're getting your ass sued as soon as someone breaks an arm. I'm clearly There's not a, a homeowner. Jumped it. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Uh, I think one thing about them too, JD, there's always more than one. You notice this? Mm. Yeah. Rarely do people have one of these things on yeah. their lawn. They, got, they, they start, oh, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, a yeah, giant yeah. family yeah. or they just keep adding to them. There's like hundreds of them at times. Yeah. So. Oh, he needs a friend. <laughs> 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 yeah. Owning them, putting them up does suck. But the the trip to Home Depot to see them all. Yeah. That's the display. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. fine. Play okay. with them. Press the I dry me buttons. I the scale. Like the scale of them are fun, which... But I get to your point, like, you want it earned. You want, yeah, like, if you can go that big, exactly. you want it. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Um, okay, here. I have the final pick. 
um, having some Wi-Fi problems here, so my <laughs> notes have pick. disappeared. Second pick. Second pick. I, Second pick. We're in decoration. Thank yep. you. See, I, yeah, yeah. I'm nothing without my notes, guys. <laughs> uh, and for some reason, I uh, my, the Wi-Fi's crapped out on me. But um, I am going with, for my worst Christmas decoration, um, the Nutcracker. Mm. Mm. Not a fan of these things. Sort of creepy. Creepy. Yeah. yeah. Creepy. Yet functional. Yeah. Um, are they? They're... I've used them before. But they're more just straight decoration. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. You're right. People, you feel like, oh, I'm not maybe even supposed to touch that. I don't yeah. know. It's like you've got it up on the mantle. Yeah. And I got this nut to be cracked, and I'm looking at a <laughs> nutcracker, but I'm not allowed to touch this thing. And these are these are also things that people collect, and they start to turn into a bit of an army. <laughs> yeah. That's and, creepy. Uh, I just think they look creepy. Yeah. yeah. Like the, something... the cousin of the elf on the shelf yeah. is the, uh, right. the a little nutcracker. Bit. <laughs> We've got like 20. No, you do. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they, do, they become they're one creepy. of these. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> yeah. Several of them are just a little bit broken, you know? Uh, right. they've, la- they've lasted a long time, but nutcrackers aren't always the most well-made. No. Uh, right. But you're right. Uh, I don't think I've cracked a nut on any of them. No. You use the... But my nuts the pre-cracked. Old, well, or the plier ones was, were yeah. the ones we used to use. I don't think use. I have one, but you're right yeah. about the pliers. <laughs> <laughs> those metal ones are cool. But I bet of those 20 nutcrackers you have in your house, if we tried to crack a walnut in them, I feel like we're breaking about 12 of those nutcrackers. <laughs> Not the nut. Yeah, like three, yeah, the nuts. Sort of. three of the nuts, 12 of the nutcrackers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not a good ratio. Yeah. Nutcrackers. Okay, so I'm going nutcrackers. It's a good pick. off the board. Uh, whoever's up next, go. It's me. <laughs> Trey in the tray spot. We have to reboot. I don't know if I should go, uh, you know, personal to me, one I hate, or one that I just think is bad in general. I think it's always personal. Well, in that case, I'm going to go with the Jingle Bell Door Knocker. <laughs> I don't know if anybody so else specific. has it. What, yeah, yeah. What is But it's, a, it's literally like um, it's like a, a gold circle, and it's got a leather strap hanging off it, and it's got like four Jingle Bells on it. Okay, yeah, yeah. So when you open the door, it like oh. flaps around. Oh, yeah. Kling, 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 kling. Sounds, it's like, sounds cute. Okay. Yeah. It's like you're operating a general store. Yeah, but it falls off the handle all the time. <laughs> Which is annoying, or because uh, it's like a floppy thing, it flops in between the closing of the door, Oof. and I can't close my door. Oh yeah. So it's more annoying than anything. <laughs> <laughs> this jingle bell door knocker. If you turn the handle the wrong way and it's on like one of the stick handles, it just falls right off. You gotta pick up your stupid bells. <laughs> <laughs> so that's my choice. It's like yeah. uh, I hate when I stay in a hotel room with the uh, do not disturb thing. Yeah. And sometimes it's always sliding off, falling yeah. off. Oh, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Totally. It's a yeah. real pain in the ass. Yeah. But what if it also made a noise? Yeah. <laughs> when you first said it, I thought it would be in the middle of the door, like uh, sure. you know, where a wreath would go. Yeah. That's a better location for it. Yeah. You need, you need to hear some jingles, but it's a bad location on the handle. On the handle, sure. yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm up, I'm up next. Okay, great. Thank you. <laughs> I'm in the process of rebooting. Uh, this one I had here was also potential for what I think is a terrible holiday activity, but I chose mistletoe. Uh, you don't like the kisses? Well, like I don't, I, I don't like the arbitrary. Like I guess like the obligatory mm, nature of it. True. Like I, I get similarly. I'm like I wonder how many mistletoe interactions are actually ones that you want Ooh, in like the yeah. grand scheme of things. And in, because I'm planning a terrible holiday party, it's an enforced rule, so that sucks for yeah, everyone. You're going to have it under every <laughs> doorway just, in your house? It's just there the whole time, and like you're kissing whoever you're crossing paths with, or you're just not making contact with people. Um, but, like, yeah, around the group, like, are, are, are we, like, really pro? Like, we enjoy the mistletoe process? Or? I feel like I don't see it a lot. I, do, I yeah. think it's yeah. that doesn't, yeah, yeah, for that reason, right? So, to me, I'm like, I think it's, like, phased out because it kind of sucks. Yeah. Also, like, how did it, how did this how tradition did start? Great, great yeah, question. Um, it yeah, was, I, I, did a, I did a bit of, like, searching into <laughs> it, and, like, I think it was just, like, a some sort of ritual, like, very far back okay. that, like, indicated. I don't know when it was there, and then people yeah. would either have to kiss or maybe more than that. I don't and know. and the rules of it is somebody <laughs> like if I see Trey walk under with someone else, am I am I as a, an observer supposed to go, oh, gotcha, right? You guys yeah, yeah, kiss, yeah. Or is it on the one of the two people that are mm. under the mistletoe? That's see, like that's <laughs> the thing where I'm like, it just makes for awkward interactions more yeah. than anything. Yeah. Like I guess we got to do this. You're absolutely right. If you're throwing a Christmas party, possibly friends are coming that don't sure. know each other yeah that's gonna make a bit of a weird situation yep if you're enforcing the rule it's, yeah 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 yeah. exactly <laughs> okay. or an incredible icebreaker yeah 
Just yeah. stand under it the whole night. <laughs> again, again yeah. I think like one uh-huh. time out of twenty, it's like it's the story that starts me that is starts a wedding speech. But right. Like, every right. other one is <laughs> one out of twenty. Yeah. That's I think more more one in a thousand. I there we say. go. Do yeah, you yeah. think there's a Hallmark Christmas movie oh, based around a this? A thousand percent. Gotta be. Gotta be. Gotta be. And it's awkward that that in that movie Act One, those two. Uh, they hate each other. Missed you under the mistletoe, yeah. Hallmark film, something like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And they, they find themselves under the mistletoe and uh, yeah. awkward kiss, act three. <laughs> They're shagging, baby. All right. They're shagging. Which do you think is better? Uh, the Mistletoe Promise, a TV movie from 2016, or Mistletoe Connection, a TV movie from 2023? Promise, Promise for sure. Yeah. <laughs> the original. Yeah. You said uh, the sequel's always worse. Interesting. It's, uh, it's got a 6.6 on IMDb, mm. an 8 out of 10 for uh, the Mistletoe Connection. Oh. Okay. What about the camel toe connection? (laughs) (laughs) Now that's something you could hang up. (laughs) Okay. uh, All marks. Tess, you have the final pick in this in this round. Oh yeah, the old decoration. Um, I definitely hate garland string lights, but I stubbornly (laughs) will put them on anywhere I can in my house because I just don't want to put lights. So the lights are better. Just straight lights are better. But anyway, uh, that's what I have here. I do hate tinsel garland as oh, a decoration. Yeah. Mm, it makes a mess. Yep. Yeah. It's so messy, especially when you've got a pet that will chew on that garland <laughs> yeah. and oh. will vomit it up a little bit later. <laughs> uh, cause Yeah, <sighs> exactly. That's exactly <laughs> what cats do. Uh, that's what my cat does. This this year I didn't put it up because she hacked it up plenty last year. Uh, <laughs> really? So yeah, yeah, the old the old tinsel garland. It's it's kind of fun to have out, but it's just a cat thinks it's a toy. Dog yeah. thinks it's a yeah, toy. Let's yeah. play with that this makes stupid a mess. thing. Yeah. A, a large mess. <laughs> so you're out of here, tinsel garland. It's yeah. been fun. I grew up in a tinsel household. Same time. Really yeah. weird when you think about it. Like you do the tree, ornaments up, lights are on, and then this final thing, mom would pull out this bag of <laughs> silver string yeah. or whatever it is. Yeah. Well, I don't even, what is it? Plastic? Like, scraps. Scraps. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and you would just chuck scraps. it on the tree. <laughs> it was kind of fun to put on the it tree. Was. It was. Yeah, the cleanup. Yeah. That one would clean up way worse. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Uh, our friend Renee Paquette, I saw recently an Instagram story. She says, it's not a Christmas tree unless it has tinsel. Okay. Wow. Wow. Like, whoa, whoa. It's, it's also not a nice Christmas tree with tinsel on it. <laughs> <laughs> just covering it all up. It's, it's everywhere. Tinsel. It's actually it's, you know overlapping to Halloween. People put out these silver type things as Halloween sort of uh, whether it's a decoration or just you know something around so it I hate it for both I hate it for Christmas and I hate it for Halloween did you grow up in a tinsel tree household I don't think there was a lot of tinsel no yeah yeah you would Not know yeah. Up. <laughs> which which makes me feel like I lived on did really you have privilege. Real trees or or artificial mostly artificial yeah, yeah. that's why because right. you can't get them off like you can't get the tinsel off of the, oh, the, right, of the right. tree that you're gonna put back in the box. Yeah. But half the time yeah. we would just put it back in the box yeah. and it would come back out next yeah. year with hey, decorate. Mm-hmm. more tinsel. <laughs> yeah, pre tinsel. <laughs> we would just freshen up the tinsel. It was like uh, the popcorn at jumbo video. <laughs> just make a fresh batch and mix it all around. It's good Did to you go. ever make uh, popcorn strings with the uh, leftover jumbo oh. popcorn? <laughs> Did not. No. Oh, no. Never made a popcorn string. Maybe Say, uh, maybe in elementary. This is very time intensive. <laughs> yeah. 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 Stringing popcorn. <laughs> Does look cool, though. Okay, yeah, tinsel. Nice. I think that might be a polarizing one. I like that one. Some people are pro tinsel, some are not. I mean, what's the, I guess the idea is that, like it makes your sh- tree shinier. Shimmer. It yeah. shimmers and shines. Mm. With yeah. the lights. Yeah. Or other parts of your home, too. It doesn't necessarily have to go on the tree. It could just be you know decoration on the mantle. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Uh, yeah. On your banister. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but, uh, but it's got to stick to something, yeah. right? Yeah, or at least but the tinsel I'm thinking of. You can just wrap yeah. it. You can wrap something with, you know. No, I would oh, say that's a garland. Yeah, right? like a shiny yeah. I know what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm like thinking gloss. of like the loose, the individual yeah. strings. Yeah, that's you're right. 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 Yeah. That's the mess. I think yeah, that's supposed to look like icicles hanging from yes. your tree. Oh, yep. yeah. Okay. It does kind of. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> I might go get some. You got to go around on it now. I'm coming around. All right, let's face it, after a night of drinking, I don't bounce back the next day like I used to. Mm. I used to be a rubber ball. Now I'm a bowling ball. (laughs) In fact, I'm so old and washed, now that I gotta make a choice, I can either have a great night or a great next day. That is until I found Z-Biotics, 
Zbiotics pre-alcohol probiotic drink is the world's first genetically engineered probiotic. It was invented by PhD scientists who tackle rough mornings after drinking. Here's how it works. When you drink, alcohol gets converted into a toxic byproduct in the gut. It's this byproduct, not dehydration, that's to blame for your rough next day. Zbiotics pre-alcohol probiotic produces an enzyme to break this byproduct down. Just remember to make and take your Zbiotics pre-alcohol your first drink of the night. You drink responsibly and then you'll feel your best tomorrow. I won't lie. I was a bit on the fence when it came to the Zbiotics pre-alcohol initially. I was like, eh, what? But while hanging out at the cabin this weekend with my buddy Grish, your buddy Grish, our buddy Grish, um, I gave it a shot. And believe me, it's the real deal. And believe me, we had some drinks by the fire. Go to zbiotics.com slash no dunks to get 15% off your first order when you see and use no dunks at checkout. Zbiotics is backed with a 100% money back guarantee. So if you're unsatisfied for any reason, they'll refund your money, no questions asked. Remember to head to zbiotics.com slash no dunks and use the code no dunks at checkout for 15% off. Thank you, Zbiotics, for sponsoring this episode and for the good times had at the cabin in the Blue Ridge Mountains. Okay, let's get to the final category. It's the worst Christmas song. I have the first pick in this. I thought this was interesting uh, because there's some horrible Christmas songs. Some that you probably don't hear a lot, but I fired up on Spotify the other night. I was like, oh, that's bad. Yeah. But then I'm like, there's a reason we're not hearing, uh, you know, New Kids on the Block's funky, funky Christmas <laughs> <laughs> every holiday season. It's so bad. But I didn't want to go that that route because I wanted to pick like a song that you hear all the time, maybe mm. on the radio, whatever. It's on a playlist, but you're like, you just dislike. Sort of like what you guys did with the movies. Mm. So I am going to go with Elmo and Patsy's Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer. <laughs> Definitely on my list. That's a it's crappy bad. song. A novelty song. Sure. From sure. like the 70s, I think. And sort of dark, too. I mean, Grandma's <laughs> getting run over by a reindeer. Yes. Hoof prints on her forehead, but oh. there's jaunty vocals, so it's like really <laughs> contradicting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, and it's like grandma got run over by reindeer. You know, yeah, it's like it's that very vibe. Twangy. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. It's like I think I liked it when I was a kid. I yeah. remember it was on my dad's playlist for oh, sure. Yeah. I think my dad finds it hilarious. Uh, <laughs> it holds up. <laughs> holds up, yeah. son. But I'm like, it's a classic. No, nah, we can do better than that. So <laughs> I, the only thing I like about that song is that the it, it's the reason the person singing it believes in Santa Claus, right? Yes. Because that's the line <laughs> that's, in that's it. That's the funny part, I yeah. guess. Yeah. But so. it almost, like, I, I read somewhere, it's almost like, it's almost more befitting of a Halloween song, like the, yeah, the right, dark totally, nature right. of dark. it, than Happy Holidays. <laughs> I will Grandma's say it's a great dead. title. Great title. It's yeah. a, like, if you just, if you've never heard the song and you just saw it, it's like, I got to find out what's going on here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they did a survey a couple years ago. 31% of Americans disliked Grandma Got Run Over by a right. Reindeer. That was like sort of at the top of the charts or top of their survey in terms of like songs that a lot of people know but don't like. So I'll go with it. Yeah. I won't overthink it. I totally yeah. forgot that the reindeer stepped on <laughs> yeah. Grandma yeah. as well. Oh, it's I thought she just got hit by the, the antlers. No, there, it's, there's a lot of crazy parts of what, like, Is lyrics. this Reindeer Dream on Green? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, they're gory lyrics, guys. Wait, uh, does she survive? Uh, or is it unclear? No How? I don't know. I'm just asking. <laughs> How? I actually don't know. No, I don't know. Got, she got knocked over <laughs> then. I never heard the end of the song. Coming home from our house Christmas Eve, you can... Uh, who like Elmo and Patsy too? Like, who oh, the man. hell are these people? <laughs> yeah, when you said Elmo, I thought we were. Yeah, I was, I was there Sesame too. Street. Yeah. yeah, same. It's on the street, Elmo. <laughs> uh, are they Australian? Is that possible? Well, it sounds like <laughs> it's an Australian. got an Australian vibe, doesn't yeah. it? <laughs> uh, but maybe not. Maybe not. Uh, I'm just looking it up. No, I don't think so. All I don't right. think so. No, well, Kentucky. Kentucky. Okay. Mm. Uh, that's what I have. Uh, who is up next in this category? Trey. We've got Trey with the second pick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, mm-hmm. I thought you were going Paul. I thought you were going Paul here, Steve. <laughs> are, you, are you coming in with Paul then? I'm not going Paul. Ding, All right. ding, ding, ding. <laughs> One of the sickest intros in all of Christmas. I like it. That's the only good part of that song. <laughs> yeah, in the end. <laughs> uh, I guess I got... Um, I'm going with another classic, though. 
Do They Know It's Christmas? Mm. Oh, wow. My Band-Aid. Wow. Yeah. wow. This one is an instant turnoff for me when I hear it come up. It's on every playlist. It's got yep. every famous person from the 1980s basically singing on it. And it's cool that they got the personnel. It was for a good cause, but they should have wrote a good song because <laughs> it is boring and long. No exciting parts. The production. Trash. Otherwise, I, I disagree, we, but oh, it's I'm right. with Trey on this one. Yeah, overall, it's horrible. Right, yeah. there's a couple stars in it that almost save it. George Michael almost saves it. Uh, <laughs> he does. What are you saying? But I Which think uh, is it Bob Geldof or whatever? It's Bob yes. Geldof. Yeah, 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 I think he's on record saying it's like one of the worst <laughs> yeah. songs ever. Like, he made it. <laughs> right, right, and he's right. like, yeah, it's one of the worst songs ever. I like that. Of all of the of all the uh, the famine relief band aid style. I think it is the best one though. Okay. Like we are the world. I hate. Which uh, one came first? We are the world. No, or... it was. This was the first. Okay. It, it was got the it, first. Got it. Yeah. Okay. So then we are the world. Uh, Tears are not enough was the Canadian version, mm-hmm. right. which is also <laughs> terrible. <laughs> but I, if I was making a Christmas uh, playlist, I would put this. You on. would. I would. I just for the no- nostalgia of it. Okay. okay. It came out when nostalgia I was in high school, sure. and it was just like. Such a novelty to see all these super, like literal right. superstars yeah. together in the same room. And it was all for charity, so mm-hmm. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> We're against charity on this one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, okay. if they're still giving money for the residuals, <laughs> maybe I'll reconsider. Right. I think they are. I, are they really? They, yeah, I think they are. So every time that's they, played yeah. on a Christmas. All the royalties, I think, goes to the whatever the, the, oh, the foundation okay, i would good. think you i'm talking out of my ass says, i actually like, that's don't enough. <laughs> like how awful of a person would you feel if you're like okay we gave enough right. we gave yeah. Enough. Yeah. We'll we're just gonna collect exactly. it from here yeah yeah okay exactly it's still a crappy song though I'm it's a terrible you. song I'm no, wow. that's great that's, this is actually a great line from bob geldoff in 2010 <laughs> geldoff told australia's daily telegraph i'm responsible for two of the worst songs in history <laughs> with the other being we are the world yeah right wow but he says it doesn't matter <laughs> right. He's right. It was all about generating correct, money. The correct. song didn't matter. Yes. <laughs> that's that's exactly true. Right. He, yeah, that's a good point. Uh, okay. <laughs> Let's go to uh, Jerome. You have the third pick here. Yeah. Um, I forgot the song existed, and I own, like I purged it from my memory, <laughs> and only did it come back when we had to do this draft. It's a song that I don't even know if it gets played a lot now, but it really seemed to have like a heyday for like about a year or two. It's called Christmas Shoes. Oh, that song's bad. Oh. <laughs> I don't even know what you're no. talking about. It is one of Christmas the worst shoes. songs and like also infuriating because the people who love it, it's just like, why do you think this is a good song? So it's a contrived song. Um, I will read the The song recounts the events experienced by a, no- yeah. a narrator completing the last of his gift shopping on Christmas Eve. He is waiting in the checkout line, but it's not really in the Christmas mood. When he notices a young boy in front of him who wants to buy a pair of shoes for his terminally ill mother. Hmm. The boy tells the cashier he wants to appear she he wants her to appear beautiful when she meets Jesus. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. Since he is short on money, the narrator ends up paying for the shoes, which reminds him of the true meaning of Christmas. It is one of the most contrived songs. <laughs> not based on any true story, which makes it even worse. Right. It's I remember discovering it because people were like, you have to hear this song. <laughs> it's really just like made my like holiday. I like I was crying when I heard it. And I was like, oh, okay, <laughs> let's check it out. Terrible song. And then to find out it's not based on anything right. that actually happened. It's And then also, again, because I'm in the theme of this is playing at my party. <laughs> Just, just on good really luck. Like, good luck with that. The whole time. Shoes on at your party or not? Uh, shoes off. I'm Asian. Come oh, on. Yeah, right. <laughs> Canadian. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, wow. I'm gonna have to fire this one up. I really don't know that song. Oh, I, but I feel like as soon as I play it, modeling. I'm gonna it's, hear it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. Who do we have up? We have Tass. Fourth yeah. pick. Uh, I'm going with the classic that we all know. I saw mommy kissing Santa Claus. Oh, yeah. Had it on mm-hmm. the list. Just, yep. just get her out of here. Why is mommy kissing Santa Claus? Number one, um, she she doesn't need to be. There. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Do you not? Do you really not know? Yeah, I know, I know. Okay. It's, it, but 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 uh, yeah, shh, shady. Shh. yeah. Let's, let's, the news. Let's, let's hush everybody. Keep <laughs> the Christmas miracle alive, yeah. Jamie. <laughs> 
<laughs> she under the holly with Santa? Is that what's happening? Um, yeah, actually, it, that is what's happening. Yes, we uh, know. The mistletoe. But, <laughs> yeah. But there's yeah, the holly and the mistletoe. I, thought, I want the holly to come back. I want the red. Yeah, I want the redness. Cool. I like holly. Cool. Every 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 little plant just needs those. I think. I think. <laughs> I mean, if it's on a doorway. Needs a little holly. <laughs> yeah, if it's on a doorway. Anyways. Do you have to if uh, if Holly McKenzie is on the second floor and we walk <laughs> under her <laughs> together? Do we need to kiss? It wasn't the Holly the name of the person that cut their finger off? Not no, Holly McKenzie. Obviously. No, Holly got caught in the lathe. Cut right, the yeah, Holly yeah, Edwards. Yeah. The lane. Right. Not to be confused with Holly Anderson. <laughs> and everyone made out. Or Holly McKenzie. Under that. Yeah. Yes, and everybody made out <laughs> under the lane. Um, yeah, so I saw Mommy kissing Santa Claus. So this it's is already a... sort of been erased. People hate it. Right. Yeah. Um, but let's end it. Jackson 5. There is a Jackson original. 5. There's a Jackson 5 version. Sure. No, that's that was the first the... one. That was the first one. Yeah, that's was that the original? Oh, yeah, yeah, I thought yeah, yeah, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. That's the original? I think so. Wow. That's a Because you hear Michael, like, in the. He's like, talks through it in the beginning. I did. I did. Yeah, I did. <laughs> did they write his, like is he just talking about his parents uh joe and uh <laughs> yeah, yeah. whatever his mom's name is yeah. <laughs> forget Pro- maybe yeah, yeah. i don't know it's uh that's on that it, list too that survey very dark yeah 28 percent of people uh when they did this survey didn't di- they disliked that song too mm. i saw yeah. mommy kissing santa claus jd what are you you fan of it hate it i don't actually mind that one mm. i do agree that it's played out. It's stupid, but I do like the sub the subtext of it. You know what I mean? I won't spoil it for you, Taz. Family <laughs> <laughs> dynamics are interesting. <laughs> okay, uh, and now we move to the uh, final pick here of the entire draft. JD mm-hmm. with the worst Christmas song. Wow, Paul still on the board. That's yeah. Paul still the on Chipmunk the board. song still on the board. Okay, oh, come okay. On. No, we're not picking best songs. Yeah. <laughs> but I, but I, my actual pick is All I Want for Christmas is My Two Front Teeth. Okay. Uh, ori- <laughs> it, that was about to be a swerve. Yeah, is my Two Front Teeth. My Two Front Teeth. Yeah, it was fine. Uh, the original Spike Jones version, 1948. It is the most annoying song you've ever heard. <laughs> Because he's got like a whistle, like it's oh, yeah. they put it on. It's oh, like, yeah. okay, and he can't say "Merry Christmas." So, okay, there is the song, yeah. right? Yeah. Smash cut to today, where this song is covered on almost every Christmas album. Nobody does the bit. Nobody <laughs> does the lisp or right. the I can't say. Like fucking Vince Gill is saying, so I could wish you Merry Christmas. That's not how it goes. It's like you gotta <laughs> whistle the Chris yeah, because miss, the teeth are missing. Because the teeth are missing. Right. Yeah, that's the gag. Spike Jones, you get a pass because it's an original 1948 novelty song. Great. <laughs> it's irritating to listen to, but at least they do the bit. Mm-hmm. So respect to the people who cover it now who do the bit, but most don't. Mm-hmm. So sounds like inflatable <laughs> so, decoration. Yeah. Lazy exactly. work. Yeah. Yeah. It's just lazy and it's not a good song. Like the actual song is just like it's just the it's just a nineteen forty eight like novelty <laughs> pop song. song. It's song. like yeah. yeah. What are we doing here? Anyways, I want it stricken from history, if possible. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. that's stricken my Stricken from history. Get it out of here. Can't believe Spike Jones did that song and Jackass Forever. Right? <laughs> <laughs> the talented man. Yeah. Uh, okay, there it is. We've gone through all five categories. Why don't we recap our worst Christmas ever squads? Trey. You went number one overall, so take us through your worst Christmas ever here. Yeah, come to my house. We're watching The Grinch. <laughs> the animated one? No. The new animated one, which is okay? No, we're watching the Jim Carrey one. Oh. <laughs> Do we have to? Yeah, it's my Christmas party. Have some fun. And have yourself a piece of this gingerbread house. <laughs> Can you imagine watching the live-action Grinch <laughs> snacking on a gingerbread house? No, thank you. Probably wearing an ugly Christmas sweater, not vintage. You yeah. bought it from a store. Oh, yeah. yeah. That showed up in, like in an Amazon package. Exactly. Like, two days right. prior. No, yeah. thank you. You try and open uh, the door to my house, the ginger, <laughs> the jingle bell knocker falls off. You're like the Home Alone pizza delivery man every time. Oh, not again. 
<laughs> and of course, inside is playing Do They Know It's Christmas. Which, you know, you don't want to hear. <laughs> but we're doing a good thing. We're doing it's it for raising charity. millions of dollars to We're raising cause. millions of dollars, but uh, we're punishing ourselves at the same time. Yeah. Yep. Okay, Jerome, take us through your, uh, your squad here. You're cordially invited to my Christmas party, but if you don't mind coming an hour early, because I do need some help shoveling the snow <laughs> further out the way. But once we're finally able to get in, enjoy the most depressing Christmas song ever in Christmas shoes. <laughs> yeah. And if that, if you need your spirits uh, brought up, hey, how about some Home Alone? Not one. <laughs> <laughs> Not two. two. Not two. You're getting Home Alone three. And to close out your night, you know what? I know you've been, you're a little pickish. You've been here for a while. Have some fruitcake on behalf of me. <laughs> Grab yourself a slice. And what's that above you? <laughs> it's a mistletoe. Now kiss. Oh, oh. with the fruitcake in your <laughs> mouth. Kinky. Uh. Yeah, putting the fruitcake under the mistletoe. Nice touch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's uh, that's a good squad right there. Uh, that's that's pretty bad. Tass, what's your team? I'll get to kissing later as well. Um, <laughs> Jingle all the way by Arnold. No, thank you. Uh, shrimp Christmas trees. <laughs> gotta go. <laughs> Funniest pick of the day. <laughs> gotta go. That's amazing. I can't believe that's a thing. It yeah. is really weird. The people are weird around Christmas. Um, decorating a gingerbread house is just not fun. I thought I would love it. It's not fun. Uh, either is Tinsel Garland. It's really combining two, isn't it? Anyways, Tinsel Garland and uh, I saw Mommy kissing Santa Claus' dad. Mm-hmm. And now you know. <laughs> <laughs> the Jackson 5 original. Yeah. Uh, all right, JD, what do you got? All right, I got for my movie is Christmas Vacation. Come at me, everyone. Oh, Come wow. at me. I am wow. excited about this party. Well, that's a great movie. Thanks for having me over. Uh, we're going to be chomping on some candy canes. Oh, fantastic. I love it. <laughs> uh, enjoy the creepy elf in a shelf looking at you from yeah. various locations during the party. Yep. Uh, it will. My my whole front lawn is going to be completely covered in inflatables. <laughs> <laughs> and all I want for Christmas is my two front teeth will be uh, playing on a loop. So enjoy that. You might be too. missing your two front teeth after all that <laughs> is candy canes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Candy canes. Okay, my uh, worst Christmas ever. We've got Deck the Halls playing on the television, the 2006 <laughs> shit show featuring Matthew Broderick and Danny DeVito. Uh, we will be handing out the Christmas pudding. Now, the one good thing about the pudding, I will say, at least uh, with my family, there's some coins in it. Oh. You're looking for a dime. Oh. You're hoping you actually bite into a coin more than the actual food. <laughs> Think about that for a second, okay? Uh, that's how bad it is. Uh, putting up outdoor decorations, that is the activity. You're helping me out. We're on the roof. Yeah, one of us is going to fall. It's, it's, we're going to be cursing a light not working. It's never good. Uh, nutcrackers everywhere. <laughs> But don't you dare think about touching one of those <laughs> to open these walnuts that I'm handing out. And then uh, we have Grandma got run over by a reindeer. Um, you know, Elmo and Patsy Elmo themselves and- <laughs> <laughs> singing this morbid song about your grandmother getting run over by a reindeer on repeat in the house. Pretty bad. Who created the worst Christmas ever? You tell us. Let us know in the comments. Let us know on Twitter, at no Dunk saying Maybe we'll get a poll going. But a lot of these places, they won't let you put five options when it comes to a poll. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Very calm. So very calm. we'll have to figure that one out. But uh, yeah, let's hear who you think did the best job at being the worst and what would you pick. That's always fun. Uh, let us know down in the comments for all five categories. Great to have Squad back oh, yeah. mm-hmm, in our yeah. lives here during the holiday season. Jerome, thanks for uh, obviously helping Happy us out here. here. Being the fifth. And uh, again, everybody have a safe and happy holidays. And we'll see you when we see you next time. Embrace the holidays, people.